This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you can ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wide world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside of technology. In the last couple of weeks, we talked about a lawsuit to give you guys a tour of the office. This week, we are back to talking about tech news and answering your questions. Up this week, we're going to talk about Windows Phone versus iOS and Android, iPad and iPad mini business what my daily phone is, and we'll talk a little bit about the Droid DNA. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go and get started. Carter Luce wants to ask, Hey John, do you think Windows Phone will ever gain as much traction as Android and iOS? The honest answer, Connor, is nope. Not gonna happen. It is never gonna gain as much traction as Android and iOS, no matter how much money Microsoft puts behind it. But the big thing is here, I don't think Microsoft expects it to surpass iOS, to surpass Android. I think what Microsoft would like in an ideal world is a really solid third place OS. There's plenty of room in the marketplace for a third place operating system. I think that's really where Microsoft is going for. They're trying to usurp BlackBerry, trying to jump over Symbian and any other third party platforms. I think Microsoft is really going to ensconce themselves as that third option. If you're looking at iOS, it might not be appealing to you if you like to customize your device. If you're looking at Android, it might not be appealing to you because it can seem overly complicated. Windows Phone fits perfectly right in the middle. You get some customization options, you get the power of Android, and you really get sometimes the best of both worlds. Connor wants to ask, and this is a question that I got quite a bit. John, I can't decide between the iPad with the Retina display and the iPad mini. What are your personal views on the two of them? Also, which would you buy? So if it was up to me and I was buying a tablet and I didn't have any of them, I'd go to the Apple Store, I'd try them out, and I'd see which ones I liked the best, and I would walk out with an iPad mini, which is very surprising. I loved the big size iPad. I always thought that that was what I would carry with me all the time. When it comes to tablets, I really am a dedicated Apple guy. And I thought that a seven inch screen size just wasn't for me. So I got my hands on the iPad mini, absolutely loved it. Now, yes, the screen resolution is super bad. And if you ever use anything with a retina display or an HD screen, you'll clearly notice it. But the portability and the size really make it the iPad for me. So a lot of people wanna know what I carry with me on a daily basis, and that's what user TMKB24 wants to know. John, what is your daily phone? Well, for the past couple of weeks, it was the Lumia 920, but I have switched to the Galaxy Note 2. This is the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. I switched away from the Lumia because I was having some difficulties connecting to Bluetooth in my car. I'd have to reboot the phone every time I got in the car. Sometimes I'd forget, phone would ring, and I'd have to try and fiddle with the phone while I was driving. That is super dangerous, and I don't want to do that. So I switched to the Galaxy Note 2, and I love it. I love that gorgeous 5.5-inch screen. I love the power behind it. I did, however, instead install Nova Launcher. This is sort of on top of TouchWiz, so I got rid of a lot of the TouchWiz-esque features. Definitely check out third-party launchers in the Google Play Store. Nova's the one I use, but there are a lot of other awesome options out there. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So the Droid DNA is arguably one of the hottest phones out there right now, and user Salim Zubair wants to ask about it. Hey, John, what is your opinion of the HTC Droid DNA? You think it compete with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2? Either way, is the DNA not a phablet? Phablet is the term to mean a phone or tablet, in case you didn't know phablet. You call it a tone, call it a fat phone, tiny tablet. I do think that the Droid DNA can absolutely compete with the other flagships on Verizon. The iPhone 5, which you didn't mention, Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3. The screen on this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I can turn it on, I can show you on camera, but it's not going to do it justice so you see it right in front of your own eyes. It almost looked like there's a sticker on the screen. It's hard to believe that it's actually the screen itself. It is a little bit of an odd design with a five inch screen. It's sort of tall and narrow, kind of like a bigger version of the iPhone 5, but it's extremely powerful. It does absolutely everything you need. I love the industrial design, speakers all the way down the sides. Phone feels great in your hand. It's got that great HTC build. Yes, absolutely it can compete. No, I don't consider it a fab, but five inches is probably the biggest. I'll consider it to still be just a dedicated phone. And you get to 5.3 and 5.5, then you get into that tablet range. And to show you what I mean, here's the Note 2. Phablet, phone. Tone, phone. Big, fatty, boom, batty, normal size and sweet. There are the differences. Uh, hopefully that helped answer your question. All right, so let's step away from the questions for a minute to thank our sponsors at Jack Threads. Look at me, I like to wear new clothes, but I hate to go shopping. That's where Jack Threads comes in. Jack Threads has quickly become the online shopping destination for dudes like us. Here's why. 
Everything on the site is up to 80% off, so you can save some cash, because sticker price is full of suckers. They serve up killer contemporary and street apparel accessories and gadgets from brands like Converse, Penguin, and Busted Tees. Shopping is stupid simple. They made it idiot proof for this guy. And all styles are curated so buyer's remorse just don't happen. What's more, as a viewer of Techno Buffalo, you can skip the membership waitlist and get instant access. If you're looking for new clothes, it's a great time to update your fall wardrobe at Jack Threads. As a Jack Threads member, if you refer a friend to Jack Threads, you also get 10 bucks shopping credit for each buyer you refer. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. We're back here every week answering your tech questions. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. Till then, see you next video.